Do we have a question from the sisters? Yes. Why does it exist um, Sunni and Shia Muslims when Sunni and Shia Muslims is the main reason why there is hate between Muslims? Why can't we just be Muslims and follow the Quran? Do you think Sunni and Shia are created to make hate and destroy Islam? Shia and Sunni. Sheikh Haytham? Sheikh Saeed? Sheikh Haytham? Should we flip a coin? Um, okay, um, I'll give you a story, very simple story. Al, Al Ma'mun, he was one of the uh, Abbasi caliphs, and he was a great scholar despite his uh, views regarding some theological issues. One time in his meeting, in his gathering with people, he saw a person who was Christian. And he became, sorry, he was Muslim and he became Christian. And then he told him, listen, you guy, I think you are Muslim. Isn't that true? He said, yes, I was Muslim. He said, why did you become Christian? You need to tell us. If you have an excuse or a doubt, then we will give you an answer for that doubt. If you have no excuse or no justified reason, then we will apply capital punishment for apostasy, okay, as it is known in the classical Islamic text. So this guy, he said, I was so confused because of so many sects in Islam. Then Al-Ma'mun grabbed on him. He said, are you telling me that there are no sects in Christianity? Are you telling me that there are no sects in Judaism? Are you following your brothers, sisters? Are you following the logic? Yes or no? <laughs> so yesterday, uh, I am staying with the Sheikh Yusha, and he's my teacher. I told him, because I am staying with you, I want you to be my Sheikh. So teach me about the Christianity, because I don't have that many information about the Christianity. So Jazallah Khair, he's giving me it slowly, slowly, because he's giving me tabia, because he doesn't want to give the how many years all of a sudden, yeah, to me. <laughs> so he told me so far that there are six main sects in Christianity, and they all differ on the fundamental basic principles of Christianity. Uh, Brother Arib al-Islam, told me that, do you know that there are more than 1,000 Bibles? I said, what? He said, people don't know this. People always say, oh, in, in Islam, there are different of opinions, etc. He was a Christian himself, Brother Arib al-Islam from South Africa. He's one of the students of Didat. He said, do you believe that there are more than 1,000 Bibles? I said, are you serious? He said, this is my my specialty, I study this. So when this caliph said to this man who converted to uh, Christianity, he told him, are you telling me that there are no sects in Christianity? Are you telling me that there are no sects in Judaism? There are, of course, more than the sects of Al-Islam. Then he said, I agree that there are some differences between Muslims. Some of them are major differences and some of them are minor differences. Those minor differences in order for us to complement each other and to enrich Islamic jurisprudence. So Islam can flourish in any space, in any time. And major differences, Allah intended them to be there in order to test people who are following the true Islam and who are following the deviant Islam because life is a test. So if there are no uh, elements of uh, testing people and some elements of confusion, then people will not put any effort to know what is the truth and what is the falsehood. And simply we say, read the whole Quran. A few days ago, I think uh, here, a brother asked me about uh, Shiism. I said, read the whole Quran. Do you find the principles that the Shia sect 
is calling for or uh, are calling for. Are they mentioned in the Quran? You do not find any of their principles mentioned in the Quran. As simple as that. Okay, this is one thing. Then I told them, just to briefly be because of time, I'll just mention this. Okay, the Prophet Sallallahu imagine, Mathalan, imagine our brother Sheikh Saeed. Okay, he is a good person, but his wife was an evil person. No, 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 just. There's a cameras here, then my wife may be watching. Imagine that his wife, imagine his wife was an evil person. We close friends were evil people. Yeah, all of his friends were evil people. Will he be a good person if his wife is evil, his close friends are evil people? Can you imagine this? I'm asking you. See, that's why he immediately said she's a good person. Because you cannot imagine a good person having an evil wife. You will say he is evil. Agree or not? His wife is evil. His close friends are evil. All of his friends, except just very few, are good. All of them are evil. Then he will be evil. Common sense. Yes or no? Okay. Someone told me the Prophet didn't know. I said, this is an insult. Astaghfirullah, you are insulting the Prophet. Imagine a person who says that he is, forget a Prophet. He said that he is a leader and he is intelligent and he has integrity and he is the righteous person. And this person, he is, he doesn't know that his wife is evil and deceiving him. He doesn't know that his close friends are evil and deceiving him. What kind of person is that? Stupid. stupid. Agree? <laughs> He's stupid. He's foolish. I said to some of them, fear Allah, you are by saying, by insulting Aisha, the wife, the beloved wife of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi by insulting Abu Bakr, the beloved friend of the Prophet Sallallahu and Umar and Uthman and the other companions, you are indirectly insulting the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. You are indirectly either saying, the Prophet Astaghfirullah, either you are saying the Prophet was evil or the Prophet was foolish. This is madness. And then people are saying, we are confused. Shia or Sunnah. Come on. Astaghfirullah al-Azim. We have a question.